what's up it's your favorite girl Amani Jelena and I'm back with another video for you guys some of you may know what I'm about to say some may not but my name is Amani Jelena the owner of Allure 96 hair and lash and aside from that I can literally say I teach or coach whichever term you like best women online the importance of bringing success to your brand I work directly one-on-one -on -one with business owners who want to bring success to their business or also need just guidance within their business a lot of people need help um, a lot of people need help starting up a business but then I do have my clients who already have an existing business but need help to boost sales or need help on email marketing or even need help regarding social media and platforms and web development and image development branding and all that good stuff so if you for instance need a little assistance as far as your business goes or just have questions that you don't know the answers to you're more than welcome to schedule a coaching call with yours truly I'll have everything linked right below for you guys so let's just jump into the video so this video is going to be about starting a business but it's going to be mainly geared around vendors and packaging okay I do already have a video on my channel and I'll leave it tagged right above of how to find the right vendor and in that video I go hundred percent into detail about finding the right vendor for you but in this video we're going to bring up some of those similar topics but we're also going to figure out exactly what we want as the business owner so when it comes to vendors, a lot of the times I deal with coaching calls or I deal with emails and things like that. And people tell me like, hey, I don't know if I want to sell raw hair, virgin hair, Peruvian, Malaysian, Mongolian, Eurasian. Like it's so many regions out there. You need to figure out what you want to bring to your company. And is it something that's going to stick? And what I mean is, for instance, do you want to sell raw hair or um, virgin hair? Me personally, like I said, I own Allure 96. I took the route of unprocessed virgin hair. I genuinely like that texture a lot more than raw hair. A reason being, and it's, this is just my opinion, raw hair is a little more high maintenance to deal with. Since I ship out orders on a consecutive, consistent basis, and then I also have hair sitting, for instance, if raw hair sits too long, the hair's trash. The hair is no good. But unprocessed hair, it has a longer lifespan than it than raw hair does. So that is just little things that you need to do research on to figure out is it more budget friendly if I do unprocessed hair or raw hair or or you can even just ask yourself which one or which texture would you feel a little more comfortable selling. For instance, raw hair, you might have to wash each bundle before you ship it out. So you have to ask yourself, do I necessarily have the time to maintain raw hair before I ship it to my customers but with virgin virgin hair you don't really have that issue as it is sent to you it can go out you don't have to even touch it you don't have to run your fingers through you don't have to do anything to it that is a perk when it comes to the unprocessed hair and the raw hair so ask yourself what region of hair do you personally want to sell and bring to your business and ladies or men whomever is watching this please do your research if you don't know the difference between Brazilian and Peruvian or raw or Mongolian or Eurasian or Indian or Chinese hair you need to sit back down get your notes and you need to be able to off your dome tell the difference between those different textures this is stuff that you should know going into the hair industry and it's okay if you don't know at one point I didn't know so you just have to do your research and once you collect all the useful information figure out what exactly you want to sell and what exactly works for your life okay because raw hair for me is a no-go you need to figure out if you want to deal with an overseas vendor or if you want to deal with an in-state vendor there's perks and there's downfalls to each one okay i personally if you guys do not know allure 96 has a drop shipping company so i am a drop shipping uh, service provider but I 100% deal with a factory which is overseas um, what I'll say is again you have to do your research and figure out which one is best for you and your lifestyle if you guys are not familiar with a drop shipping service is it's basically a service or a company or agencies that deals one-on-one -on -one with the fulfillment of your orders granted like I said, I have a drop shipping company and I deal with drop shipping clients every single day, okay? And a lot of the time, 
dropshipping clients fail to realize that your business is still your business all your emails all that stuff that's still things that you have to handle handle i fulfill all of your orders and i ship them out in a timely fashion but everything else that pertains to your business i have zero to do with okay so just be mindful if you're dealing with an overseas vendor you're you're dealing with a vendor overseas who's sending you a product to send to your customers when you're dealing with a drop shipping service you're dealing with an agency or service some have contracts some do not that you pay them a monthly fee to ship out all of your orders in a timely fashion so before I move forward with this video, I definitely want to mention, mention Allure 96 has a drop shipping service that's $19.99 every single month. That is a flat rate fee. Within the next month, prices will increase. There will now be a maximum amount of drop shipping customers we can have on a month to month basis just because the high volume and how things are moving. So if you are interested in joining a in-state drop shipping company, but not in a contract with them definitely reach out to allure 96 i'll leave everything right below and you can go ahead and read our rules and exactly how it works to see if this is something you want to sign up for okay but i just wanted to throw that out there because you know you know if you're watching this video you don't really have to do much work if you want a reliable vendor amazing hair allure 96 can handle that for you okay but Moving on, another thing you want to look out for when trying to find a vendor is the price list. You want a vendor that works for your price list. What a lot of people fail to realize is depending on your vendor depends on your prices. If your vendor has high prices, you're going to have high prices, which can make or break your company depending on the reputation that you want your business to have. Now, I'm not going to tell you guys what's right and what's wrong as far as a price list goes, but definitely make sure you do your research as far as um, working with different, let's say you're dealing with overseas vendors. Definitely make sure you have a fair share of overseas vendors that you're working with before you pick out who's 100% your vendor and um, compare prices because a lot of their prices are very similar. Of course, if you're dealing with raw hair, it's going to be a little bit, it's going to be priced differently than um, uh, virgin hair would be priced. So do your research with those, compare prices, but just know when you are dealing with high vendor prices, your prices are going to be higher, which mm, I don't know if that's the best thing, you know, starting out a business. But if you do have a business and you just inch up your prices as the years progress and things like that, that's totally fine. Or if you have the credibility within your business, I feel that's 100 percent fine. But definitely what I recommend is when you are starting out a business from scratch and you don't have the juice, definitely start your prices more so mediocre not low not high just in the middle and um work your way up from there now if you want to bypass all of this information and you just want a vendor you want a reliable vendor you don't want to deal with the hassles or anything like that i do supply a vendors list that you can purchase i will leave it tagged right below for you guys and it's a vendor and you get four vendors and out of those four vendors i do supply a wig vendor out of those four so that is beneficial to you and your brand if you want to bring wigs on board because wigs are popping, okay? So if you are interested in my vendors list, I will leave it below for you guys. And you know, you, you can start your business. The hair is amazing. I've tested all the hair. I've worked with the vendors. No issues. Customer service is A1. You don't have to worry about any of that. So definitely do your research with that. And like I said, I'll leave my vendors list right below for you guys. Instead of getting one vendor, you get four vendors for a very affordable price. So definitely utilize that if you haven't already. A cool way that you can find vendors if you want to go down a different route is you can always utilize Instagram. Instagram is an amazing, amazing social platform for you to help you find your future vendors, um, to help you find anything, hairstylists, vendors, makeup artists, like you can find anything on Instagram. Um, so some cool things that I would use and some cool things that I have used in the past was hashtags. I would hashtag hair vendors or I would hashtag overseas vendors or, you know, other hashtags like 613 hair and see what would pop up. And when I tell you tons of vendors pop up by the boatload, they pop up and all you have to do is individually, of course, it is time consuming and you do have to test it out before 100% you can claim someone as your vendor. But when I tell you that is a way that you can find a vendor, a very good way, and I've used it and I've had success with it, it is possible. Another thing that I recommend is Google. Utilize Google. Type 
what you're looking for and it'll pop up. I definitely say utilizing hashtags is a little more beneficial, especially in my experience, than using Google, but you can you can use either or, honestly. I don't want this video to be too long, so we're just gonna switch gears a little bit and we're gonna talk about packaging. Packaging, packaging, packaging. Packaging is something that you definitely need to think about. It's definitely something that you definitely want a game plan with because you want to know how your product, well, after you find your vendor, of course, you want to make sure you have pretty packaging. Pretty packaging sells, sells, pretty sells, okay? So you definitely want to figure out if you want satin bags, pillow boxes, um, additional uh, shaped boxes, ribbons, hang tags, bundle wraps, all that good stuff. You need to figure it out and you need to ask yourself, what do I want for my brand and what can I afford for my brand? So let's say you want bundle wraps and hang tags. You don't have to look any further, further because Allure 96 does supply bundle wraps and hang tags. So if you are interested in those, I will leave the link right below. Very affordable price. You'll probably, you probably won't find a, a deal better than this, but I'll leave it right below and you can go ahead and purchase it and then, you know, follow the steps as far as getting your logo sent to me and all that good stuff. And then all I do is I get them printed, shipped for you, and that is it. It's a super easy process at a super affordable rate. So definitely utilize that. But some other cool tips and tricks if you are interested in doing more so of the satin bags and organza bags and boxes and all that cool stuff, you can always visit a page called Uline. Uh, Uline is very accredible. It's very, very popular. So if you haven't heard of it, it is called Uline and they do specialize in shipping supplies and all that good stuff. Some other options, you can always contact local warehouses in your area. And then the last two options that I have for you guys, you can, um, Paper Mart is a web browser that you can contact and they have all type of paper goods as far as like ribbons and bags and organza bags and sand bags and all that good stuff that you can purchase at a wholesale price for bulks okay or I think they go by the dozen so that is useful but the last one I can't I don't think I want to give you guys this one but it is giftinternational.com and I'll leave everything right below for you guys but even though you might go to the website it does look a little sketchy but they offer amazing stuff at very, very, very cheap, 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 dirt cheap prices, okay? So definitely do your research with those. I wish all of you guys amazing luck. And once again, if you are stuck and don't really know where to go with your business, definitely schedule a coaching call with me. And if you're interested in um, some of the packaging as far as like hang tags and all that good stuff with your own logo on it, of course, definitely reach out to me. I'll leave everything right below. I love each and every one of you and I have so many other videos coming if you haven't check out my other videos that i have on this channel there's so many hair related videos on here it's ridiculous but like i said i will see you guys in my next video so don't forget to subscribe bye